Now, uh, in part F, we're asked to, uh, how many seconds to the nearest hundredth of a second is the ball in the air above 50 meters? And so remember that we have a few points that we can identify on this graph. And so I've just got it sketched here. And so here we have height on our vertical axis, and we have time in seconds on our horizontal axis. And at zero seconds, the ball is thrown uh, and from a height of 30 meters. We found that in part C. The maximum, the vertex of this gra uh, parabola, is at 375, and that's what we found in parts E and F. I uh, sorry, D and E. And so now what we're asked is to identify to the nearest hundredth of a second what the time is. And so what we want to know is what is the time interval here. So we have to find uh, this first point, this first time when the ball reaches 50 meters, and we have to find the second time that the uh, ball re um, falls to 50 meters, and then the time interval between them, the change in the time. So if we call this T1, T2 and T1, so the change in time is equal to T2 minus T1. In other words, we just, we're going to find this time and subtract this time from it. And that'll be give us how long the ball is in the air for. So we're given the original equation uh, from part A is the one we're going to use here. So H is equal to negative 5 T minus 3 squared plus 75. And so we're, what we're going to do is sub in 50 meters because that's what we want to know. We want to know the two times when the ball hit is at 50 meters. And so when we sub in for h equals 50, uh, we could use quadratic formula here, or we can just use, um, we're going to solve algebraically in this case because I think it's going to be the easiest. And so first thing we're going to do, remember we use sand depth, so we're going to subtract or add first. So we're going to subtract 75, sorry, that's 75 from both sides. So I'm going to flip this around. So negative 5 times t minus 3 squared is equal to, because 75 minus 75 is 0, so we're left with on the left side, that we're going to bring over to the right side, negative 25. Divide both sides by negative 5, which is the next step, division or multiplication. And this simplifies to be t minus 3 squared is equal to, and negative 25 over negative 5 is positive 5. So now we take the square root of this, and we have two possible answers here. t minus 3 can be equal to positive square root of 5, or t minus 3 could be equal to negative square root of 5. And then we've got two answers here, and that's what we were expecting. So t um, is equal to root 5 plus 3, or t is equal to negative root 5 plus 3. So now we're going to use our calculator because we're asked to find the nearest hundredth, so we can use, we can round here. We don't need an exact number. So for the first one, we're going to do 5 in the square root, and we're going to put in plus 3. And so then that comes to be, and this will be uh, 5 point, and nearest hundredth will be 5.24. And this is going to be the second time that it reaches um, the 50 meter mark. And this will be T1 here. And so going back to our calculator. So it'll be square root of 5. And we're going to change that to negative and put in plus 3. And the first time that it reaches the 50 meter mark, will be at 0 0.76 seconds.
and that'll be our T1. So the time that the ball is in the air the, is going to be the difference between 5.24 and 0 decimal 76 seconds. So 5.24 at minus 0 decimal 76. And this is then Sorry, 5.24 minus 0.76, and that comes out to be um, approximately 4.48. And really, you should have, because we've rounded here, you should have approximately in every case. So this is approximately equal to 4.48 seconds. So that means that the ball is in the air. Uh, above a height of 50 meters for 4.48 seconds.